Welcome to part two. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas as it was. I have, it's now dry. I like my little ocean, but I'm not super thrilled with some of the marks in the sky from the poinsettia or the center. And <clears throat> it inspired me to think that there should be a horizon line down the middle. So I've given myself a digital sketch that I'm not going to show you because it didn't print out very well, but I am going to try my best to put a cloud in the sky and then pick up the color as a reflection. I'm going to use some Chantilly lace. And I'm not going to put it down below yet. I'm going to use some frosted, frosted berry in fact. And pardon my sniffing, I just had a sneezing attack right before the video started. Um, I've got some passion. I don't think a little bit of that is going to hurt anything. As you can see, I kind of want a pink cloud. Let's see what happens. And I could make it fun with spirals. Or I could just let it be whatever it wants to be <laughs> with my spatula, just by dabbing, daubing, dabbing. But I can put as many clouds as I want. I just need to move them up either to distract the eye completely or partially from that bunch of lines. my sky. So obviously I need a slightly larger cloud than I've given myself. And I don't want to play with it so long that it gets gloppy. I'm going to go back and forth a few times. Hope I can get away with this. Put some more in. A little more passion. Now since the canvas is dry, if I absolutely couldn't stand it, I would just squeegee it off with my spatula. Maybe I'm not going to do a good job of this my first time out. I want a cloud that looks like a cloud and I'm basically just covering up the sky. Maybe a different kind of spatula is the answer. Or a different kind of swiping. Let's go with the side. Part of me is going, you should have tried this before you started in here. What have I got? I have little acetate tools. Hopefully I'm not too late. Almost made a complete fool of myself, right?
Whatever is reflected in the water down below will be fine. And if I pick up and add some texture using my tool, I don't think that that could be a bad thing either. But I better get to it, whatever I'm going to do, because I did, I did mess around with that a lot too long. This is this part is going to work. Get that bubble out of there. Lighten up my touch. Just carve some swirls. Well, it may be a fail, but it's not a fail yet. And I don't give up that easily, so. Yeah, I just wanted to throw my finger just in case. I think I'd like to wipe off some of that paint, to tell you the truth, and I'm going to grab a paper towel right now to do it. wet before it gets any more stuck. That'll be my horizon line. I thought about using a basting brush to put the lines across. I wanted to put a sun in there but I'm not sure I can get away with it without actually removing some paint. So let's just do that. Let's do one down here and one up there. And let's do some orange in there too. That was the sour lemon with a little bit of orange crush and this is the orange crush. Yes, I am. If you can see me, I'm using my finger. And I'm going to knock that orange off. Run the spatula through to give the impression of water. I hope. The spatula is doing more to pick up paint than put it down at this point. I'm trying to get any rogue marks out of the way. dab the paint that's sort of sticky on my spatula in an effort to make it look like reflections on the water. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but it's not horrible. I do want to take a couple of those bubbles out. And I still like my little ocean. And I still have paint on my spatula that I feel like making use of. I'm wondering if I can just drag it right across. 
and what that'll look like. And I kind of like the way that looks actually. I've done that before to make it look like the rain. I wish I could make the clouds better. Maybe I can. Yep, I think I can. I'm going to take a chance. First I'm going to put the spirals in, then I'm going to drag my spatula through them. Unless I really love them. But I think the spatula dragging is a good idea. I hope I'm not wrong. My paint is more liquidous than I thought. It's not too sticky yet, amazingly enough. Pull some of the sun band out. There, I kind of like that. That's different. It was an experiment. And uh, I'm not unhappy. I should do my experiments not on camera, probably. I just stuck my tool right to my hand. <laughs> Clever girl. Pushing the spatula right down through. I want to put more down, but you know what? I've got, I've really got plenty of moisture in that sun up above, so there's nothing to keep me from doing that right now. And it's still wet enough so I could stick my finger back in there too if I want to. Although I gotta say it's probably risky. If I had flow troll in there, it would level the paint out. So it's kitschy, whatever. You watch me make a fool out of myself. Somebody's like, it's about time. I wanna do it again. I don't mind that there's a little bit of yellow from the sun on the tool tip. This is an acetate tool I made myself. kind of want some darker pink in there to tell you the truth, but I'm not sure that that's going to be help any more helpful than what I've already done. I like the vague texture. I'm going to call it good. <laughs> call it good while I'm ahead. And I suppose, you know, I could go back and add more of what I've got in the water if I liked it enough. Cool, I can still use a spatula to scrape some color away. All right. If you're a if you're kind soul, you'll give me a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'll probably learn to like it more. A lot of times it takes me a minute. The shock doesn't wear off for immediately of not getting exactly what I want right out of the beginning. It happens. I'm sure I'm not the only one. It happens to either. I hear stories. I'm gonna throw that spatula in the bucket before it becomes. Hard and fast glue. So 
I'm looking at this upside down and I'm realizing there probably isn't enough of a cloud in the water. So if I want more of a cloud in the water, I better do something about it. But that doing something about it would be me putting some paint in the dish. Chantilly lace, same as before. Along with some of the passion and some of the frosted berry. And I've got a clean spatula if I want to come back down in. I'm liking it better. Where's my timer? There we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to be much happier with, with more of a reflection of the clouds. It's a, it's a sunrise maybe. I've been enamored of the sea smoke recently. The more paint I put in there, put on there, the happier I am with the feeling of the reflection. And the little lapping waves don't make me unhappy either. I like those. And overall, I know I'll be much happier than I thought I would be for a moment or two. Because I can! The name of my first book on the Amazon link next to my second book, Unlimited Possibilities, both on the link tree underneath Show More under the video. Look for the 20% off coupon code for Color Art Products and check out the primary elements as well as the prism pores. And know that you can buy things to mix them with, both of them, Vivid Polypore and Vivid Enamel there. And now I'm much happier. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me until the end. I do want to put something else right there. And I kind of think I could add a dimension to the clouds if I was willing to do more of that. So we'll probably be gone <laughs> before I'm done because I like what I just did and I'm going to do it again. Because it adds dimension by lightening up something on the forefront of the cloud. And like I said, it's a little kitschy, but who cares? I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Check out my Amazon link. And if you shop there, it's at no way to cost you. And it helps me out. There's all kinds of cool stuff there. I do sell my artwork. Um, if you share my videos, look good from, through the camera monitor. Yay. <laughs> my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I used to give and would love to give lessons to the house in Spring Hill, Florida again. Uh, feel free to contact me for prices and uh, instructions. I have two books on the Amazon link because I can and unlimited possibilities, as I did mention. On the link tree, I have Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more shows you Society6 and Le Gallerist and uh, Pixels.com, Fire Nerd America, all that stuff that you'll still find on the link tree. Thank you guys for the comments, the kind words boost my morale. Thank you for the donations through the PayPal link on the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube channel banner. And I believe that there's a thanks button now. And you guys are going to be gone in a second. And I know that was a little, that might have been a little tedious because I was like panicking in the middle, but I don't really mind how it finished. So I'll see you guys anon. Bye for now. I love you. I love you all much. You inspire the heck out of me. And uh, if I forgot anything, you'll forgive me. And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Oh, I have 2,500 videos and they're organized by topic and genre. And if you want a link, you can ask me. And if you want to look for them yourself, they're on my YouTube channel under playlists, created playlists, all playlists. All right. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.